The regulator pressurizes the fuel, which fuel injectors then spray into combustion chambers in the appropriate quantity. This essential part controls the amount and pressure of fuel. However, regulators may eventually malfunction. To give you an idea of what to expect, I'll go over the most typical signs of a malfunctioning fuel pressure regulator in this video, along with the typical cost of replacement. It's Max the Car Guy. Subscribe and let's get started. Engine Misfires and Weak Acceleration The most noticeable sign of a malfunctioning FPR is a misfire in the engine and a reduction in acceleration force. Suddenly, while you're driving, your car will lose power, stutter, or slow down. After a brief period, it might resume accelerating normally before losing acceleration power once more. It goes without saying that you should not put up with this since it can be extremely dangerous when driving. Black Smoke If your car is warming up, there should only be a small amount of white smoke coming out of the exhaust. A malfunctioning fuel pressure regulator may be the reason for any dark gray or black smoke you see. If you also notice any combination of the other symptoms listed here, in addition to black smoke coming out of your exhaust, the regulator is probably to blame, though there are many other possible causes. Spark plugs covered in soot. If you believe that your fuel pressure regulator is malfunctioning, remove the spark plug and check for black soot buildup on the tip. If so, among other things, a malfunctioning FPR could be the reason. Make sure to look for soot on the ends of every other spark plug. The engine head's burning of oil is the cause of this soot. In this instance, you will have to replace the dirty spark plugs in addition to the regulator. Vacuum hose has gasoline. Disconnecting your vacuum hose from your fuel pressure regulator and checking to see if gasoline is inside will help you determine if your fuel pressure regulator is broken. Make sure you are doing this with the engine off. You have a leaking FPR if there is gasoline in your vacuum hose. Engine won't turn over. If your car won't start because the engine won't turn over, the problem is probably either a dead starter motor or a depleted car battery. However, it could also indicate that your fuel pressure regulator isn't working properly. Since the regulator controls fuel pressure and fuel is required to start an engine, a malfunctioning regulator may result in low fuel pressure, which can stop the engine from starting. It might take several tries to start your car when the FPR is first malfunctioning. But eventually, if the regulator is never changed, it will get to the point where you are unable to start your car at all. Fuel dripping out of exhaust. Although it is uncommon, your fuel pressure regulator is most likely allowing it to happen because it has failed if gasoline is dripping out of your tailpipe. It is possible for some gasoline to enter the vehicle's exhaust system due to a malfunctioning regulator. From there, some of it might make its way into the exhaust fumes that exit the tailpipe. Make sure there isn't any condensation or water leaking out of your exhaust before you start to suspect this. In this instance, a small amount of water is usually perfectly safe. Replacement Cost There are two primary factors that affect the cost of replacing a fuel pressure regulator. Is it an electronic regulator or just a regular manual one? How challenging is it to get there? The part itself will typically set you back between $50 and $200, but if your car has an electronic fuel pressure regulator, that amount could easily double. Replacing the FPR shouldn't take too long because it's usually placed in a convenient spot. The labor should cost between $100 and $150 more if other parts like the fuel rail need to be removed as well. In most cases, the total cost of a fuel pressure regulator is between $150 and $350, but the cost of replacing the part can easily exceed $500. It is advised to use an independent mechanic or repair shop rather than a dealership in order to save costs. Hope the information was helpful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.